Hi, my name is Lucy, and I'm a seventh grader at Westside Middle School. Nothing beats Don't Sona! <laughs> and this is my poem, insert title here. Do you know that feeling where your throat closes up, where you cannot breathe, where your whole body feels as if it's been thrown into a washing machine set on high? I felt that feeling rise within me days before you stopped me in my tracks saying, listen, I don't want to be mean or anything, but I just feel like our relationship isn't really working out. And in that moment, my apoplectic suspicions pushed their way to the front of my brain again, like us crowding around the snack bar at the roller rink, filling my mind with memories of the weeks I had spent obsessing over the ways you might say it. Thought sent searing beams of white light into the darkness of my room until I could no longer hear the fan rattling on my right because choruses of, I don't like you anymore, I just need some space. It's not you, it's me. We're lapping at my brain like waves at a rocky shore, eroding my ability to keep my emotions in check. I held my left hand in my right to mimic yours that I knew would disappear at the slightest drop in an already unsteady heartbeat. Your words were poorly thought out, scribbled fast in your illegible handwriting, scrawled between thin lines that I cannot read because you just weren't feeling it. I cannot read the emotion on your face as you so carelessly tear me apart in a matter of one sentence. Sweet funnel cake fries that we ate in between bursts of laughter turning to bitter, dripping acid. How long had you planned this unceremonious death of a relationship? A week? Two weeks? Had you never wanted me at all? While I only suspected it, attempting to hold on to ignorance by threads, it was common knowledge to the entire grade. Friends sharing glances when I wasn't looking. But every day I could feel the bond we had pieced together by inside jokes and secret smiles fading into a distance that was further than our hearts as we climbed the stairs that only led into another level of uncertainty. I have to stare at you every day as I sit behind you in science hearing you say that's retarded. Each syllable a new nail sliding down the face of a chalkboard that's been scratched one too many times, opening scabs that I tried to keep closed, I'm defeated. I gave you the willpower to withstand succumbing to the D-bag vocabulary, but now there's nothing to censor sentences sprinkled with, that's so gay. The head I've held high, sliding back down to its normal slump. Your laugh takes me back to our time skating together, hand in hand, gliding along with the flashing colored lights illuminating our features, teaching me how to skate backwards, smiling and not hiding my teeth. But our fingers were laced with doubts, leaving us on opposite ends of the rink. Yeah!